A lot of times when you're taking a photo, if you have an SLR camera, you can adjust the shutter speed as well as the aperture. Now the shutter speed controls how fast the shutter is open, of course, or how long the shutter is open. And the aperture controls how big that opening in the lens is, that how much light is let in, basically. Now with a more wide open aperture, that's a lower f-stop number, like 1.2, 2.4, etc., and that results in a lower depth of field. Sometimes you may take a photo and you wish you had went back and you know could take a photo with a lower depth of field. Basically what I mean by that is wherever you're focusing with your zoom lens, let's say you uh, zoom in to her face, well the, the distance behind the focal point and in front of the focal point, that's the depth of field. How much before and after that focal point is in focus. So in this shot, which is actually taken by one of my former university students in photography class, Brianna Moore, M-O-O-R-E. She actually has Brianna Moore Photography up, up in uh, Boston, outside of Boston. Uh, she's a professional photographer up there right now. And uh, she just shot this for my class to just show action. All right, so pretty good shot. It's just, I think, as far as the depth of field, we're going to use this as an example of one that we can improve by adding a lower depth of field post-production in Adobe Photoshop. So first thing you want to do is create a new layer here. You have one here. Open up a photo that has a longer, you know, mo almost everything's in focus, the foreground, middle ground, and background. Go ahead and press Control J and that will duplicate the layer and create a layer one like I have here. And next step, we're going to actually blur this top layer Go ahead and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you can move it over to the side here and make sure previous checked. And you just want a blur where it will blur out the area behind her. All right, so 3.8 is good for this example. It just depends on your photo, but I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. What we have is a top blurry photo. And if I click the icon, then you can see the uh, photo that's in focus below it. All right. So what we want to do is add a mask to this top layer, and we're going to mask out the areas that we need to be in focus. So go ahead and click the Add Layer Mask button at the bottom of the Layers palette. It's that circle inside a rectangle. It'll create this little white box next to it. With that white box selected, go ahead and choose a brush tool and make the foreground color black. And make a soft edge brush right here. And if you want to make it larger, you can press the right bracket. So use the bracket tools on the keyboard. And I just click and drag here, and it's going to... So, I'm going to just click and drag right here, and you notice this all is in focus now, because this is masking out. If you want to Alt, or on the Mac, it's Option. If you just want to Alt-click this little white box, it'll show you the mask. All right. You can Alt-click it again, Option-click it again to turn it back off. All right, it gets a little tricky right here, though, because I do want her to be in focus, but the edge right there, I would have to resize the uh, brush quite a bit. All right, so what you want to do is you want to make a selection. So you can choose the polygonal lasso tool if you want, or choose any other selection tools. You just want to click and let go, click and let go, click and let go. You also want to select her around. Instead of doing that this here in this tutorial, I've already selected it beforehand. I'm just going to go to Select, Load Selection, and then OK. All right, so I have everything but her selected, right? So what you want to do, I'm going to go to Select Inverse. So now I have her selected, and then I'm going to paint that black in. And it's a pretty good selection. I could probably even refine it even more with the Refine Edge under uh, the Select. So Select, Refine Edge. You could add a feather, maybe a pixel or two, you know, one pixel feather, depending on the size of your photo. But anyway, I have um, now her in focus, and this area right here. It's kind of an abrupt change, though. Uh, so what you want is middle ground to be a little bit different. So instead of black, let's choose gray, kind of a gray midtone, and go ahead and draw some gray in there. 
in the midtones, kind of in the midground. All right. Now, if you ever mess up and you let's say I'll I'll set it to black and let's say I paint up here and that's in focus. I don't want it to be. Great thing about this, it's different from the eraser tool because when we're masking out, we can actually just paint white back on it and that will remove the mask. All right. So now we have the end result being uh, a photo that has a lower depth of field. The background is definitely out of focus. The middle ground is slightly in focus with that gray. And you could even do more shades of gray from black to white if you wanted. And then we painted black in the foreground and on the subject to keep them tack sharp. Thank you.